Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Civilization V Brave New World as Austria. So let's get this ball rolling. It's actually been quite a few days in between recordings, which is odd because this is only episode 4. Usually, you know, when I start a new series I'll record like 8 in a row almost. It's just I have not been feeling good lately. And um, yeah, it's just been just really bad. So I got my coffee right here though, so that's good. That's going to help me, my good Tim Hortons coffee. Uh, all the Canadians out there will know what I mean by that. Best coffee ever. So anyways, enough of that. I mean, the reason I mention this, though, is because we are in a great position, honestly. Like, I, I could not have asked for a better start. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is the best start I've ever had in a Civ game, just because of everything we've been able to do. You know, we've, we've gotten the Great Library. We've gotten the Terracotta Army. So, I mean, that's exactly... You know, I mean, you can't get better than that, especially for a domination vi uh, victory, right? The, the Terracotta Army is just so strong. But uh, this is a defining moment in the game already, though, because we're going to be going to, you know, after Beijing right now, or at least by turn 75, which is my rule of thumb, by the way. If you're going to do early war against your neighbor, you should do it by turn 75. I mean, if you could do it before that, even better. But, uh, I mean, yeah, that's a game-defining moment right now, I think, at least in my opinion, because, you know, if we don't take a lot of casualties, we have a pretty big army still to probably go after uh, the Mayans is what I think I would do actually I don't want them to get too strong um, now th I mean the downfall with doing that though is that we're gonna have ev everybody's gonna hate us I mean that's I'm already aware of this <laughs> at least that's what happened in my uh, Celts uh, my Celts uh, playthrough the the whole world ended up hating us really quickly but uh, I mean we'll manage but I mean that, that to me, right now, this is really the defining moment. Let me end my turn right now as I continue on with uh, why I think it's a defining moment. Actually, I guess I've explained it. But see, the problem is here, though, Beijing is in such a bastard spot right now. Like, oh my god, you could not have asked for a more bastard location. I mean, there's just two angles, really, to, to attack the city properly. Because or else you're shooting over rivers. If you're coming from up here, you're shooting over rivers. Over here, you're shooting over rivers. So you pretty much have this angle here, and then this angle all the way in the back. Plus, they have the city here, so we don't want to get in bombar bombard range either from there. So, um, yeah, minimal casualties, that'd be great. Uh, we're one turn away from being able to upgrade this archer. That's good. So let's just keep moving our guys. Uh, problem as well, though, it's rough terrain all the way. So, you know what, this catapult's actually going to stay there for now. Where's my other spearman? Okay, I got two spearmen from here. You're going to move here. You guys might as well start moving. I mean, we got some pretty good units. Don't get me wrong. We got some pretty, pretty good units. It's just... This is very narrow, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have no choice but to take some hits walking in this way. In fact, do I even care about flanking this side? I might as well maybe, you know, I might as well start coming back. I'm going to declare war on the guys soon here. One more turn for this guy to... Uh, to do his thing. So anyways, I mean, besides that, things are going very well, though. It's, uh, it's on honestly my, my best start ever, I'm pretty sure. I have to have to remember other games that I've done. I mean, this game has been out for quite some time, what, like five years now? But, uh, I mean, on Immortal, this is definitely my best start ever. There's no question about that. Okay, so you just wait one more turn here. And uh, you are going to wait one more turn. I mean, see, the problem right now is that Beijing's probably aware that we're coming after them. At least, if they're not, they're pretty stupid. So, they don't seem to have iron, though, which is good, because we're at the point in the game right now, by turn 70, it's very possible that they can upgrade their uh, warriors to swordsmen, which would really suck for us right now, because we don't really have tough melee characters. We just, you know, have a lot of range characters, which is good for attacking cities. I mean, that's, that's how you want to do it. Uh, you can go ahead, just actually set, because what we're going to do... Is actually actually no, you're gonna have to move one more. Move one more. Uh, unit needs orders, right? Another warrior. You know what? I'm gonna send you up there. Actually, you can come back here, and you're gonna alert. We're not gonna upgrade this one just yet. We're gonna save our money to upgrade this one. So we're gonna have three composite bowmen and two catapults. And I mean that should really destroy Beijing quite quickly. Plus, there's some, you know, there's some terrains here to uh, to plunder to get some healing. Although I want to minimize doing that, though, because then right after I'm gonna have to re-improve them, which is, you know, a little bit time-consuming for nothing. Can you flip with this guy? I think I'd rather have you in the front. Anyways, we'll do that next turn. 
So you go ahead and do nothing here. If I'm if I'm playing very slowly, it's because I'm trying to remember exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Like I said, it's been quite some time in between recordings, and also not still not feeling all that great right now. So my mind is all uh, you know not completely aware of its surroundings, if that makes any sense. We're working in the granary here, which is good. Do I have anything queued up for after this? No way. Eh? Because if I remember correctly, I definitely want... Oh yeah, trireme and then uh, probably two cargo ships just to start ra racking in the cash. Because I do want to start building some horsemen in this city. After the library here, we're probably going to do the barracks. And then we're going to do some horsemen. This city's going to be pretty good for production, I have to say. I don't I don't need it to grow too quickly early on. Just, you know, maybe six pop would be nice. And, you know, just pump out the uh, easy-to-build horsemen. And then after that, once we've, you know... Why do we... What the hell is this? What? That's the first time that's ever happened to me. What is this? Cannot support 14 units. You are over that limit by one, which decreases production in your cities by 10%. How is this even a thing? Why can't my empire support 14 units? I got the money. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. You learn something new every day, apparently. That's crazy, man. Seriously, like, what? Has this ever happened to anybody? I mean, let me know in the comments. I've never seen this. I didn't even know this was a thing. And I don't even understand how this makes sense. How can I not support 14 units? I have the money. I'm, su I'm clearly supporting 14 units. Is it like a food thing? What the fuck? Anyways, and how come I have four total, two used? I'm using two. Oh, right, I got the stupid horse archers. I'm going to want more horses. But what the hell is this? Anyways, we'll worry about that later. I'm going to need Giona on our side. Remember, I'm going to definitely keep this guy as a uh, city-state and not going to diplomatic marriage him. Same with uh, Vilnius here because of the jewelries and the, the gold and the mercantile thing. Um, anybody else? No, nobody is really... You know, I'm not going to worry about the city-states just yet. It's not like we can support it right now with the happiness, although I'm going to keep most of them puppet. In fact, I'm going to roll just two actual cities for the longest time because that's going to allow us to really boom in our social policies. And allow us to build the, uh, you know, our na national wonders much quicker. And I'm just going to rely on puppeting cities for uh, for quite some time, actually. But anyways, what the heck? Anyways, not enough talk. I'm just wasting too much time here. It feels like I've done nothing in, like, eight minutes here. Uh, right, demanding stuff. Right, demanding stuff. View. All right, you've done the granary, so we're going to grow even more now. How do you get rid of this? I'm sorry that this is just totally messing my head right now. Like, I, I don't understand how this works. Like, I've never seen this. I have never, never seen this. Okay, anyways. Trireme. The reason why I'm building the Trireme is that I want to make sure there's no stupid barbarians uh, in, this er <coughs> in this area here. Because I don't want to lose our cargo ship because it's really annoying. It's a waste of hammers if you lose them. Uh, you, you can come here, actually. You can come here. We're going to actually start bringing you guys back. I mean, I might as well get ready to... Uh, to declare war soon. No, I'm still too far, though. You can now upgrade. I'm going to use our last cash here to do that. Our last bits of money. Is, so we're 18 gold per turn, which is not that bad, actually. I don't know why we're so high... Um, this scout I might actually automate, or... Nah, let me use them. Uh, I'll, I'll do it myself, actually. I'd rather control. There's still a, quite a few things to, uh, to scout here. So we got more salt connected, which is interesting. Uh, Isabella, are we trading salt to you? Saludo. No, we're not. You only got four gold per turn, though. What the fuck is that? Uh, I don't think anybody else... I mean, we can't... We're not going to bother with China. What about you? You never have any money yet, Denmark. I don't know what the AI does to you. I feel really bad for you. <laughs> like, a really interesting civ, I have to say. But uh, the AI, in every single one of my games, Denmark is always struggling. I, I don't know why. I mean, it, the, I, I think it's just that the AI does not know how to use them. Uh, Pakal, I'm pretty sure we're already trading with you. Ask you here. You're my, man, a lot of AIs are struggling. Usually, the, Actually, the warmongers usually struggle. That's uh, They build too many units and they can't support it with money. Uh, Solomon. No, we're already trading with you. You know what I'm going to do, Isabella? I'm not... Like, four gold per turn doesn't interest me that much. Actually, I'll take your gems, though. I'll do salt for gems. 
just so that our happiness is uh, ready for uh, us taking over Beijing. So there you have it. So we, that's all it's done. Uh, you might as well come here and start building some more farms. Farms here. I might remove these and actually do, actually do trade posts. Then again, I might keep them farms. Anyways, we'll see how that works out. Okay, so you go ahead and just wait. You obviously have to wait. Um, you know, I would like to move you right here, but I'm scared that this warrior... Actually, we're out of bombard range. You don't seem to have a lot of units, uh, China, which is very cool. Right, you're going to have to just wait. See, it's such a slow crawl going down here, man. Oh my god, this this mountain is very annoying. You're right to worry. Do I do it this way? No, they get the first shot on us. Oh, wait, if I do this, though, I'd probably break a promise or something and get, like, crazy warmongering penalties. Is that, like, a thing? That's probably a thing. I'm really bad at domination victories, FYI, so... You know, I expect to get flamed a lot in the uh, comments, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, I call it flaming, actually. A lot of people are very nice when they give their tips, though. They're not, you know, being evil or anything like that. Um, I say, I don't know. Me right now, I'd say, no, I'm just passing through, and then I just backstab her and just say, oh, wait, by the way, no war. But I think I might as well do it this way. But I'm going to get bombarded, though, I think. Fuck. No, I'm not ready for war. Screw you. I'm going to do it my way. Oh, okay. See, good. The true, the true faces are being shown here. Those composite bowmen are gonna have to go down. Uh, one, two, one, two. Yeah, you guys are fine. I mean, we're gonna get re we're really close to being able to uh, to do this. A lot of rough terrain. Though. That's the annoying part. I'm actually gonna move you. No, we're all, we're gonna stay out of bombard range. Because there is a wall, so the city's going to have a stronger attack now. Um, this catapult, though, I don't want him to get hurt. You can go. Actually, I like that move. Uh, you can move here. You can move here. You can start moving here. Like I said, we're probably going to take casualties. It's a very bastard spot for uh, Beijing. And I want to get that done in this episode. And I have been dragging on this episode with just nonsense as usual. Hopefully the nonsense is interesting enough for uh, people to k stay tuned and, uh, you know, whatnots and all that stuff. Um, yeah, you're kind of far away from stuff now. Then again, I kind of like you being on a hill because I can see what's coming towards us. So really, there's just three units to worry about. I like to kill them off before we charge in there. Oh, man, we're so close. I can't destroy this caravan because I have to declare war first, and this caravan's actually coming towards us, so... <laughs> If I, if I declare war, the, the trade route automatically stops. You can actually set, though. I'll do that. You could just do that. Next turn. The turn 72. I mean, we're getting ready. Oh, got my guy got kicked out. Oh, I was in a golden age? Right, so you finished building the uh, thing here. Good. You're going to come here and uh, connect this. This is, is going to be a pretty good city, too. You know what? I might actually let it grow quite big, since I'm only going to stick with two cities. I'm just scared that we're going to get happiness problems. Actually, though, if I remember an honor, there's something really cool. This thing here, each city with a garrison increases local uh, city happiness by one and two culture. This is a freaking amazing, man, this thing. Really, really good. And once we're done tradition, I'm going to one, two, three. That, I'm, I'm going to just beeline right to this thing. What's this first one? Commentary for melee units that have another melee... See, this is very good, too. Especially for us, what we plan on doing right now. It won't be useful against Beijing, but it, or China, rather, but it's going to be useful for our next target, which I'm still debating whether... I mean, Stockholm is probably going to stay friendly with us. I don't want to screw that up right away. Because, I mean, really, he's the only really friendly guy in the game right now. Uh, you go ahead and alert. Scout over here. Do things over there. I guess next turn we'll uh, we'll get ready. You go ahead and wait. Right. You can come here. You can come here. 
Okay, we're ready. Next turn. We'll do it on the next turn and hope uh, hope everything works out. Oh, we got another warrior here that's uh, late to the party, but that's okay. Right, you just alert. Or not alert, but uh, do nothing, rather. Do nothing either. It's going to take a while. One, two, three. It's going to take four turns before this catapult can actually attack, and that's if I do it properly. Not a lot of room on this side. Might actually move my composite bowmen towards here. So that they get uh, a good attack. Anyways, whatever. I'm trying to do this perfect. One goal per turn. No. Well, they don't seem like they have a lot of units. Okay. Choose production. So trireme has been done. Awesome. Let's do our cargo ships. Uh, you, you're going to come here. Connect this. You can come over here. Oh, Denmark, you got some units. Crappy units, but you got units. This trireme, I'm going to control myself for a little while. I just want to go see what's over here. If there's any barbarians, I want to kill them. Uh, right, so do we do this? I guess we have no choice. I mean, I'm just wasting time now. It's turn 74, which is exactly when I would choose to start attacking before the, uh, the, the AI can start building stronger units. Um, and of course, if you could do it before, you do it before. If you could attack the, the AI before they get composite bowmen, I mean, that's really, that's what you want. But, uh, so let's do this. How do I want to start this off? I want to get rid of this warrior. So we're going to do this. Yeah, whatever. Fuck off. All right. Ah, oh, shit. You can't. What? Okay. Okay, this spearman's gonna have a hard day here, but uh, I would really like to destroy this composite bowman. Well, I can actually move this guy here, but he's gonna take some bombards from the city for sure. So, but I could kill this composite bowman though if I did that. Hmm. No. Stay, let's stay methodical about this. Which is something I really suck at in this game. I usually get impatient. I really, really get impatient quickly. Alright, do nothing this turn because you I don't want to move him here. If I move the catapult here, for sure Beijing's gonna target my catapults. And my catapults are going to be you know the th the the unit that's gonna win this uh, combat quickly. Okay, so they've targeted this guy. That's not too bad. Most literate people. What? <coughs> Sorry. I, I scream like a girl sometimes. Really? I mean, yeah, no, we got a free tech. That's true. Because we got the uh, Great Library. The uh, Parthenon. It's just, I was think I was mentioning that in the last episode that the, the AI really likes this one. And if we were going for a culture victory, I would have gone for this instead of the Terracotta Army. Because we were able to build a great library, which the only reason we were e even able to do the great library is because uh, we got writing for free on turn freaking 16, which is freaking nuts. Okay, right, so how do I do this now? I mean, what I can do is move here, and I could pillage, get some heal, which probably makes sense. You can move here, you can move here, you can move here. I like to shoot these guys. Shoot them dead. Right, do I move in my catapults or do I wait? Whoops. I think I'll wait for for this one to be able to do stuff. What, you guys can't do anything? Not really. Okay, well, it'll be interesting to see what they do. Anyway, they can't kill us. I could pillage these farms just to get some quick heal. I don't know why I'm so scared, seriously. I mean, this is... There's a lot of units over here, man, but really shitty ones. So Copenhagen's here. I mean, honestly, mine's next. Maybe Stockholm. Then straight to Copenhagen. Then we're pretty fucking gold after that. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. This is immortal, though. I'm getting... I gotta remember that. You know what? Do a bit of healing, actually. We're in the midst of uh, some combating right now, and I'd like to stay focused on that. Alright, so no, I'm not going to move you just yet, unless, no, we're going to, 
gonna st we're gonna wait one turn. So let's see what happens here. Uh, they weren't able to kill our spearman, which is good. He's actually leveled up. So what I'm gonna do is consume the opportunity here. I'm actually gonna move you on this side. You guys are gonna come here. Do I start taking shots? Actually, I, I want to get rid of this this guy here. You can now move here. You can move here. Yeah, I think it's time to just rush, bum rush in there. Let me take some shots on the city. And you can alert. Trireem. Mr. Trireem. What's your quests? You want truffles. <laughs> and you want a land or sea trade route. Well, that's going to happen, actually. My first trade route's going to go there. Why am I not getting... Oh, wait. You're here now. That's good. Okay, we grew and I didn't realize. Yeah, no, that's a great place. This worker's going to run out of things to do quickly in this city. Actually, I'll start building a road to uh, Salzburg. All right, what do we lose? Ah, oh, we lost a unit. Well, what can you do? I knew I was going to lose at least one or two units. Hopefully not more than that. I'll lock you here. That's a good tile. Keep doing that library. Babylos. Right. Really? You've declared war in Milan. Where's Milan? Right here. Oh, shit. Holy crap, dude. You got a lot of units. No wonder you're bleeding money. Take a shot on this guy. Take a shot on this guy. I'd like to attack you, actually. Take a shot here. Set. Shoot. Wow, that's not a lot of damage, is it? Move here. Set. Shoot. 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 Stupid river, man. I'm not doing this properly right now. Uh, fuck, this warrior's kind of screwed. Gonna take some more casualties. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, well, coast seems clear, so I'll all automate this guy. I'm only gonna build one trireme. It's a Pangea, so this guy should be able to go all the way around the uh, Pangea. And um, so, just one trireme. I'm gonna try to. Whoa! What happened to money here? Seventeen from other civilized. Zero from trade reserve. How come my money went down so quickly? Your spearman... Right, next turn. Uh, Solomon, you know what? I'm not interested now. I will be later, though. Oh, shit, I didn't lose a unit this turn. Nice. Alright, so let's uh, <clears throat> automate this guy. Someone mentioned to me that I usually close these things too quickly, and I... I lose track of what's going on in the game, and that's absolutely true. I am, I, d I do do that. So I'm going to try not to do that anymore. So, Hanging Gardens! There you go. Ask ya. That's, really? That's funny. Another civilization has impressed, right? Milan is looking for help, right? Shanghai is now ally with Milan. Oh, that's, a, that should make, wow, that should make things interesting between Ask ya and, um, and uh, Denmark will be interesting to see. So this unit got promoted. We're going to go ahead and do, uh, I don't know, rough terrain, I guess. I want you guys to finish this fucker off. Damn it. We do rough terrain as well. I want you to move one. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Oh shit, where's my melee units? No, I got tons of melee units. I should be okay. Probably gonna lose this guy now though. It's okay, I wanna chase down this composite bowman. Uh, you can start coming down here. Right, so you've done that. You can come here build this one. So I'm going to tap out and do declare peace as soon as we get Beijing. I'm not going to finish off China. I don't plan on finishing off anybody, really, unless I think they're a real big threat because you get too many warmongering penalties. So I'm going to try to limit that and really just focus on the capitals. And because we got the diplomatic marriage thing as our uh, bonus for uh, being Austria, 
Really, there's no reason in capturing the other cities or raising them for that matter. So we're just going to to let things uh, flow that way. So, you know, we're going to get this place here. We're definitely going to want this city-state on our side, actually. This place gives us wine, which is nice. We get two horses, and there's some iron. This would be a pretty good place to get right away. What do you want? You want a great merchant. Actually, that's kind of funny, because I do plan on doing that first. In fact, we are working on the Oracle in seven turns. We're going to start doing that, actually. I want the free social policy and the science points and the, uh, I don't know, the other stuff it gives. So there we go. Got our work. Uh, everything, everybody's here. We've only lost one unit, so it's not too bad. I really don't care for Spearman, to be quite honest. Um, so it really was just for this particular fight that I built, just because we were building the Terracotta army. We lost the unit. We lost the unit. Why is this still here saying we're over by one? I don't know, fucking, I'm confused, man. I don't know how to, How does that even make sense? Like, the game's penalizing me for having a huge army. Like, why? Why, game? Why? No, you're gonna go ahead and just... Alert. Next turn, who do we lose? We lost... The warrior. Okay, I don't care about the warrior. Good, so you've leveled up two composite guy. You're going to go ahead and do... Might as well do rough terrain. So let's go ahead and shoot here. Shoot here. Shoot here. Shoot here. I'll let my warrior take the damage. We're going to create a puppet. Actually finish this guy here. And... Uh, I'm going to start scouting ahead with these guys. This composite bowman can move here. I might leave one composite bowman back to be garrisoned. Because we do have horse archers, which are a little bit weaker. Not much weaker. They got range attack 10. Composite bowman have 11. So there's only a one stra uh, one range difference. So I'll keep one comp composite bowman back. Keep them garrisoned. All the other units are going to go upwards. Library's done in one turn. I'm going to start building horsemen in this city. We're losing money drastically, though. I don't understand why. Uh, right, we took over the capital. Pakal has entered the medieval area. Okay. That was quick. Whoops. I didn't know I was in your uh, thing. Right. So you go ahead and build another thing here. Do we have money? We do have a lot of money, actually. I'm going to upgrade you now. This worker, actually, I'm going to use to improve tiles in this area, actually. Oh, we got two free workers. Um... All right, that's interesting, actually. I'll move you here, and so I'll start building a road right now towards here. And then we'll connect the road here. Four workers is all I need right now. I don't want to waste too much money with that. Money is an issue, but we're going to be getting a cargo ship. I'm going to immediately do another one. Probably trade with the Vilnius. Or Vil Vilnius. <laughs> I'm bad at pronouncing names. You can come here. So, I mean, overall, it went well. I'm very happy. I'll probably put a cut in this episode now because I'm still not feeling too great. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm very happy. I mean, I might have taken things a little too cautiously. I, I guess I was scared for no reason. This turned out to be quite quite easy. We lost two units, which, whatever. We lost a warrior and a spearman. It's not the end of the world. As long as we didn't lose any comps of bowmen and our um, catapults is really all I cared about. Those are the units you don't want to lose. This warrior, actually, is going to come here. I mean, do I start moving up now? I might as well. Actually, I want to uh, negotiate peace. Give me all your freaking cash, though, please. Propose. You won't give me shit. Huh. You got you got a lot of cash, though. And I'm gonna force accept embassies. There we go. Whatever. We'll mutually do that. Let's not get too uh, greedy. So, money is an issue right now. We're going to have to work on that. Um, oh, you've leveled up. Cool. Let's do rough terrain, because we're going through a lot of rough terrain right now. Ooh, Almeti. The almighty city-state likes us now. You got ivory. I'm going to pledge to protect you, actually. And no quests right now. This is definitely a place I want a diplomatic marriage. It's in a pretty good spot, too, to, dipl to, to diplomatic marriage. It's got some, you know, some mountains around it. And, uh, yeah, I think it'd be a pretty good spot to do that. We're still happiness 12 right now, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, because we got two extra luxury. We got silver and we got uh, spices. So we got those two now hooked up to our network. 
We're going to get more spices here eventually, which will be good. Uh, choose the production. We're going to go ahead and immediately do another cargo ship. This guy we're going to trade with uh, Genoa. Genoa, rather. So on the next turn, we should get the thing. Almaty is happy because of... Oh, we connected silver. Cool. Uh, choose production. Library's been done here. That's night. Oh, shit. Do we do the water mill? All right, let's do the water mill. Then I'll start building horsemen. The water mill is really good. I have to do that. We'll do that, then we'll do the barracks, and then we'll uh, we'll start building horsemen. The horsemen should be able to get to where they got to get pretty quickly. They move four spaces, right? So, uh, yeah. And let's start doing lumber mills. Definitely want that place to be high production. And this worker here, you're going to come here and you might as well improve this. You can move up here, you can move up here. We're going to start marching. You can move up here. And uh, that should be it for this turn. Oh, another worker. I'm going to route mode to here. It's going to cost us a lot of money to get there, but once that road is done, it's going to be nice. We definitely want to get that done. You can move up here. Pretty sure I ended my turn when I said I was ending this episode, but I will end this episode right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time.